Alright guys, we're back. On Mac Monday. Before I start, I want to give my biggest thanks to you guys for giving me this much support. I'm not going to say much about last video, but I will say thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. And I will compensate for the amount of criticisms I've been having in the comment section. Big disclaimer, the video no longer works. The methods in the video no longer works. So for those of you who are on iOS or iPadOS 18.1.1 or further, this method method will no longer work but if you're still on iPad OS 18.0 or 18.1 or 18.0.1 this method from this video will work perfectly but anyway today is more about the Mac so how do we get Fortnite on Mac? First things first, go to the first link in the description. You'll be redirected to this GitHub page and the first thing you'll have to click on is releases. Then you'll have to click on the zip file and once it installs, just open FM Mac Assist. Now it will give you a message called name of the app and it can't be opened or not opened as it says over here. And it fails to verify the app. So don't worry, this is a very common message on Mac OS. All you gotta do is open up settings, then click on done while you're on settings. And once you click done and you click on privacy, you'll, you'll have this page open. Scroll down to privacy and security and then scroll down all the way to security and then click on open anyway next to FM Mac Assist, open anyway, and then put your fingerprint or passcode. And then the app should automatically open. All right, once it opens, all you gotta do is click on download IPA. Now you'll have to wait till the IPA downloads, but don't quickly click on download IPA just yet. You'll have to make sure that the IPA has underscore full screen dot IPA next to it. Otherwise, if you have this, whatever version of Fortnite you may have, if it does not have full screen next to it, you're going to have to click on the arrow and click on full screen to be able to have the full desktop experience of Fortnite. All right, guys, now that it's downloaded, it's given me this pop up message that it has downloaded and I have seven days to play the game. Don't worry about that. The game will actually last you more than seven days if you do this properly. So just don't worry. Next thing you'll do is click on OK. You'll have the IPA downloaded on your finder right over here. That's the IPA. Now we're going to open up the second link in the description to download Sideloadly. You're going to download Sideloadly and you're going to open up the application. You will be prompted to select your device. Select Apple Silicon, not iPhone. Do not select iPhone. Select Apple Silicon to select your Mac and put your Apple ID into the Apple ID section. If it doesn't work, sometimes people might get an error message saying that they're not eligible to sideload more apps or they may have run out of signings. So put a fresh Apple ID instead. So what you're going to do is you're going to import the IPA into the sideloadly app, drag and drop it, and then click on start. You'll get this message. Click on cancel. Once it's fully signed, it will pop into your applications folder. All right, now that it's done, we're going to go to the applications folder. We'll find Fortnite right here. We're going to open the app. It will give us this message. Once again, we'll go back to settings and click on OK. And then we're going to click on open anyway for Fortnite. Click on open. Use your uh, uh, ID and then it will open the app and crash like just what happened. You have to do that. You have to open it and it has to crash. Uh, once it does that, open up Mac Assist and then click on patch app. Now that it's fully patched, you're going to click on OK and you're going to open the app and it will fully launch no hassles whilst you're in this screen it will give you a 13 gigabyte download or if you're updating a 2 to 5 gigabyte download now how do you update this game all you got to do is move fortnite to the trash clear the trash and then once you've deleted fortnite all you got to do is go back to fm mac assist and do the entire video once again it's that easy it's that simple download side load open the app patch the app open the app you're done that's the entire video. I hope you guys like this. It's very simple and easy, and you get a bunch of perks with the game, such as being able to enable 120 hertz on MacBook Pros with ProMotion displays. But make sure to have ProMotion enabled on your Mac, otherwise it will not work. But the crucial thing is, and you might be wondering, why am I using a controller? It's mainly because this game is unstable while using the keyboard and mouse. Why am I saying this? It's because we're using an iOS version of the game on a MacBook. And what does Mac OS do to games that are running iOS code? It tries to emulate touch controls and game controllers. All the controls are fixed and you cannot remap them to any other button. So I cannot remap R1 to any other button and I cannot remap L1 to any other button. 
which is a big issue. So if you guys can find a spare controller and connect it to your Mac, that would be perfect. All you gotta do when you open up the game and you connect the controller, you just gotta tap your touchpad to be able to register the controller in. But that's pretty much it. You're running the iOS version of the game on your Mac. And since it's also an iOS version of the game, you'll be facing bot lobbies. You'll be playing against very, very weak players. And yeah, this may also help us get one step closer towards getting Fortnite back on iOS and iPadOS since this method does technically allow you to play the game without signing or without going through the hassle of trying to get the app working without crashing and without paying any cash for a certificate. So I hope someone does use this method to figure out a way to get Fortnite back on iOS and iPadOS. And uh, just a side note, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before in the video, but every time there is an update, the FM Mac Assist will automatically upload the IPA. So you won't have to wait until the IPA is released publicly to everyone who's trying to sign the app and it will work 100% of the time. Just follow the seven minute video that I've created for you guys. It's literally that simple. Just download, sideload, open, patch, open, and then use a the controller. But hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like. But with that, see you all on Friday. See you.